I remember quite vividly back in 1972 when I was, I was all of nine years old and we were watching that black and white TV with the rabbit ear antennas. <laughs> and it was the very last Apollo mission. The very last time humans have been to the moon more than 40 years ago. Think about it. There we were watching Gene Cernan walking on the surface of the moon. And I was holding the antenna because, of course, <laughs> once you grab the antenna, <laughs> the exception improves. <laughs> y yo era el más pequeño. I was the youngest one. So guess what my dad said? I get that thing. You know, I kid around with my siblings now. I tell them that it was through osmosis that I became an astronaut. The, 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 the signals went through my body and somehow I got programmed to become an astronaut. <laughs> but what happened was, what happened was that, that I, um, what happened was that um, the whole world stopped to watch each moon, moonwalk. And, uh, and, you know, all the channels programming was preempted. And, and they would pass it live with Walter Cronkite narrating it. And that night was no different. And there we were, mesmerized, watching Gene Cernan, the last man to step on the moon, doing his thing on the surface of the moon. I would go outside, and I would see the moon out there, just like we see it today. I would go back inside, see Gene Cernan bounce on the moon, talk to Mission Control Houston, come back outside, see it. I would do that about six times throughout that whole process. And I said, wow, quarter million miles away, and we've got humans up on that surface of that moon right now. And I'm watching him on TV talk to the world. How cool is that? I said, that's what I want to be. I want to be an astronaut. And you gotta remember, nine years old, we were living here in the valley in Stockton. We were migrant farm workers, spending nine months here, siguiendo las cosechas, following the crops, three, four different school districts, three months in Mexico. Nine months, three months, that was our routine as kids. And my parents, only with a third grade education, the one thing I did right that evening was I told my parents of that dream. And my dad must have saw the determination in my eyes because he sat me down in that same kitchen table that my mom always sat us down every day after school to do homework. Mientras hacía las tortillas, sopa y arroz to feed us, we weren't allowed to get out of there until we finished our homework. But my dad sat me down that evening at that same table and he looked at me and says, con que quieres ser astronauta? And I said, si, senor. And I thought he... He said, you're chiflado, you're Now try something different. But he, he looked at me and he says, Yo pienso que si puedes hacerlo. I think you can do it. And let me give you the recipe. Very simple recipe. Five simple ingredients. And those ingredients are, define what you want to be in life when you grow up. And I said, I answered them right away. Quiero ser astronauta. I figured it entre me, you can't, I'm halfway there already. <laughs> uh, he laughed as well, too. And then he said, understand how far you are from that goal. I said, well, I'm the son of a migrant farm worker. That's pretty far, huh? También se rió. He said, I'm glad you recognize that because the third step is even more important. Draw yourself a road map. Road map from where you understand where you're at to where you understand where you want to go. And outline every step. And don't be tempted to skip steps, because you will be tempted to skip steps. Because you can still get there, but you're not going to be well prepared. I think yeah, there's no shortcuts. That was the message in that one, no shortcuts. Draw yourself a map and don't take shortcuts. And then I said, okay, well, what's the fourth ingredient? I said, you're doing it already, mijo. Get yourself an education. Stay in school and get good grades. Yeah, and then he said, and the fifth and final one, he says, equally as important, he says, you know that same work ethic you put out there in the field today, piscando los pepinos, the cucumbers? He says, that same work ethic you put it in your books, and you put it in your professional job when you graduate college. 
Because you mix all that, Pepe, and you can be whatever you want. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos aquí en Estados Unidos. We're here in the U.S. You can reach your dream. You just have to work hard and do it. 